Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number six from the January 2022 Pure Mathematics P1 International A Level Edexcel paper. And this question here is about a curve, which is given the label C, which has an equation y equals f of x, where x is greater than zero. We're given that the f dash x equals x plus 3 all squared over x times root x and we're also told that the point p 420 lies on c on the curve c uh, we've got to first find the gradient of um, the value of the gradient at p so the value of the gradient of the curve of course at p now what they've given us here is not the equation of the curve but the equation of the gradient function of the curve like if you have y okay is equal to some function of x okay that's what we've got here now dy dx is the same as writing f dash of x all right when you differentiate the gradient function okay you write that's dy dx if it's written as f of x that's f dash of x so this is the gradient function so this tells us uh, the, the 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 gradient of the curve at any point we want to find it so if I want to find the gradient of the curve at P, we know that at P, we know that X is equal to 4, because that's the X coordinate at P. So therefore, if we find F dash of 4, means we replace X with 4 in the gradient function, you're going to get 4 plus 3 squared over 4 times the square root of 4, which gives us 7 squared, which is 49 over 4 times root 4, which is 8. 4 times root 4, 4 times 2 is 8. That is the gradient of the curve at P. So we can say the gradient of um, C at P is equal to 49 over 8. Now part 2 says, hence, find the equation of the tangent. Hence meaning using what we just found. Find the equation of the tangent to C at P, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals zero. So if you have a curve, I'm not saying this is what our curve looks like, okay? Um, and the you know you want to find the, the gradient of the tangent. The tangent first is a line which just touches the curve at a certain point without passing through it. So it has the same gradient of the curve at that point. So if I want to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at C, I'm finding the equation of a straight line, which is in the form y equals mx plus c, or as in this case, I want to, us to write it in this form, ax plus by plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are integers to be found. So if this is the point p, for example, I would need to know the gradient of the line at that point. Okay, so if I want to find the gradient of the tangent, I need to find a point on that line, which is p. p is a point on the tangent because the tangent passes through the point p. So that's a point on the on the tangent and we know the coordinates of p are 420 so that's a point on the line and i also need to know the gradient of that line and we know the gradient of the line okay the gradient of of the tangent to the curve is the same as the gradient of the curve at the point p which is 49 over 8. if the question says find the equation of the normal to the curve then i'd have to use the negative reciprocal of this gradient which will be perpendicular the normal is perpendicular to the tangent so i'd use the same point but i'd use the negative reciprocal however this question is not asking us about the normal it's asking us about <laughs> just the tangent to the curve so this is the gradient i need and the rest is pretty simple which you can use different methods some people like to use y equals mx plus c always i much prefer to use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 which is oops x1 which is based upon the gradient formula okay m equals a change of y over the change in x it's based upon that but this is a really nice easy way of dealing it especially when you have fractional gradients it makes life a bit easier so the this is referring to x1 this is referring to y1 and, and the y and x here are your variables so you have y minus y1 which is 20 equals m which is a gradient which is 49 over 8 times x minus x1 which is x coordinate of that point now i want to express it in this form so first thing i'm going to do is multiply both sides by 8 to get rid of the um, fraction so if i multiply this side by 8 i'll have 8y minus 160 this will get rid of the 8 here so i have 49 times x minus 4 
expanding the brackets, 8y minus 160 equals 49x minus, that's 160 plus 36, that's 196. And now we can simplify this. Now I want to have it in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. So everything should be on one side. I'm going to make this side zero. So my, my x term is positive. That's always better to write it like that. Don't have to. Okay, but I prefer to have the x term as positive. So 49 minus 8y, and I have negative 196 plus 160, which is going to be uh, plus minus 36. Minus 36. So we can say in the end our equation is 49x minus 8y take away 36 is equal to 0. And that's part um, A of this question. Okay, so part B of the question actually is dealing with integration. So as I'm trying to um, categorize all my um, answers in terms of the playlist with the uh, year and the playlist with the topic, I will save this as a separate video from part B because part B will be on um, integration and part A is about differentiation. So I'll stop the video um, and continue on the next video uh, with part B. You can find that video in the playlist which will be uh, appearing in this area here. The link for it will play, appear in this area at the end of the video. That will take you to all the other questions um, from the paper. There will also be a link appearing here which will take you to a playlist dealing with differentiation from P1. All the questions I've answered on differentiation from P1 you'll find it in that playlist. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.